Welcome back to the Toilet Paper Chronicles. Um, a lot has happened since we last spoken, and I really have to share a lot with you about, um, to be specific, uh, toilet paper wiping techniques and methods. These are, you know, go from simple to advanced, and they really differ from person to person. I think you all can uh, know and appreciate that. I had many discussions with many prestigious people on this matter and I came to the conclusion that there are a few main wiping techniques. Um, the first one is, for, this obviously is going to be for men, but um, you slightly, the slight stand and squat and you use uh, one hand to spread one butt cheek and the other to uh, do the wiping. And this is effective I believe for uh, quite a few uh, people. Another method, a little one less known and somewhat rare, is the sit down technique and the reaching down through the front of the toilet bowl and in there. And uh, this has been referred to as the uh, lift up and cup method. And uh, it's unorthodox but quite effective uh, as I've heard. Another method is the full standing uh, method. And this is a little bit different because it's just a little, uh, you're really putting yourself out there. It's a little out in the open and uh, even though you're behind that closed door, it's, you're standing up and that's not very natural. I think people who do that really should uh, consider uh, what their principles really are. The Aboriginal sit and squat method has been thought to be dangerous by many, many people for centuries and many years. This basically involves actually standing on the toilet and going to a full squat and defecating in that manner and that is dangerous and you must know what you're doing. It might be a good idea to start out with some pillows around the toilet in case you fall just because it is, uh, I'd probably say a level seven in, um, in it, I'd probably say, well, maybe even level nine as far as difficulty. Like quite a treasure, treasury, treasureful, treasuring, treasure, treasuring, treasure experience treasured experience. Just be careful all you people out there. Um, I can't really speak for women. I mean, I guess I could have asked. I'll be honest, I've seen a good wife before, okay? I mean, it's bound to happen, you know? So, uh, basically, I think they kind of just reach their hand down behind them and uh, wipe, or, or in the front. I don't believe they really do this, this slight squat, slight stand and squat method, which is the most uh, preferred for men. Um, again, I feel free to, to comment with videos or, or text um, on your thoughts on this or your techniques or uh, what your thoughts are on this matter because, again, I think it's something we take for granted. Uh, YPN techniques are, could be very beneficial. They could change your whole shitting experience. We should all be very grateful for that. Behind me, I have a very nice uh, display here of Charmin toilet paper. It's the very, very good brand, um, triple ply, very soft, almost like a fabric. It's amazing. Um, I can't, of course, show you the label in the front because I could get sued and maybe the video will be taken on YouTube. I don't know. I know stuff like that happens from time to time, so um, I'm not going to show you the label. I'm sorry. I know you want to see that snuggly little bear, but it's not going to happen tonight or today or whatever time it is where you may be at this given time that you're watching this video. Think about that. This is the Toilet Paper Chronicles number two. Number two, get it? Yeah. It's kind of a weak joke. Well, no, it was a strong joke. Maybe just uh, a little obvious, perhaps. Another toilet paper wiping technique um, involves the wet helper. And you know that usually that usually will involve um, dampening uh, some toilet paper and you know really giving you that full cleansing effect. Also, there's the wet ones, you know, also known as baby wipes. You know, they're not just for babies. Let me tell you, you know, they're for anybody, and they're they could really help you in a time of need. And you don't want to leave those streaks in your pants because I mean that could just you know cause so many problems for you. I think we all know what happens when you don't use toilet paper. Um, there's been many substitutes. I know when you run out of toilet paper, 
what you have to do sometimes go to the paper towel, to the napkin. Some cases, some worst case scenario, you might have to go to a sock or a, or a shirt, you know, I mean, desperate times. But um, I think we find that in this experimentation, what if there was, you know, a better material for ultimate wiping satisfaction? And I'm thinking about probably 40% cotton, 40% silk, and 20% uh, polyester. And I think this might make for, well actually no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, make that 20% velvet. I think that might make for an amazing wiping experience and you might come to actually look forward to wiping with that extreme comfort. I'm sorry that I waited so long to make part two to this and actually it's been a while since I've made any videos and hopefully this will be my bounce back, my, my launch pad to my future endeavors in YouTube and in filmmaking and I hope you see it that way too and if not um, yeah I'm not really okay with that so you should probably rethink that if you are thinking that way so uh, yeah